Okay, please forgive me because I've never made a YouTube video in my life, but I've had a problem today and it's taken me so long to work out how to fix it that I decided to put a YouTube video on for anyone else with a similar unit. I've got a Cook and Lewis unit, um, the name of the unit, I can't remember, I'll put it in the title. And today the flush broke. Basically, um, this was really loose. It had no like pressure behind it and the water in the toilet was constantly trickling. I had no idea how to get into the system. And obviously, all this is connected um, and I pretty much had a meltdown. So with looking online, I realized there was no video for this particular unit. Um, a lot of videos were suggesting that this needed to come off, which concerned me. I didn't want to scratch it up um, or break it. Um, so after speaking to a plumber friend um, and also speaking to B&Q who sold me the unit that were actually very, very helpful and a little bit of bravery, I will now show you how this, how you can get into the cistern. Okay, so as much as it made me a bit anxious, I just took a flathead screwdriver and pulled it up and then gently teased it out. What you'll find, bear with me, what you'll find is both sides pop into those, see the little, little things, little bars they squeeze onto, it literally just pops out and then you can access everything in the cistern like that. Now for me, it only took a jiggle of this pipe <laughs> to reset the ball cock and it was absolutely fine. So I just popped it back on. Um, obviously I was chuffed to bits and now my toilet flushes again, but I just wanted to show, obviously, bear with me, just push it back on, job done. But I wanted to show people that didn't have a clue how to get into the unit because I don't know about anybody else, but I certainly had a panic on this morning. So that's all, thank you.